All right, guys. So we just finished up our uh, second day at the after show. Uh, the public days tomorrow. Had a couple of pretty good days. Uh, we we're a bit rusty out there today, but Mako party. Mako yeah. party. Um, yeah, it, it hurt us last night. It was a good time, but I, I haven't had a night like that in two decades. <laughs> you were in fine form, Bruiser. Mm -hmm. You were. But we thought we'd just sit down, have a bit of a chat. Um, talk about some of the stuff we've seen at the show that sort of caught our eye, um, that we've been pretty impressed with. Got a bit of footage that we'll mix in with this chat and, and just show you guys what we thought. So yeah, stick with us and, and we'll get into it. So, boys? I'll jump in. Jackal, new colours, Gantrel, Gainiers, how yep. do they look? Look done real. I think, yeah, from the first day that was probably the, the pick of them, so I've seen them straight away. Um, Harry Watson's brought out a whole new range of colours for the Gainiers. Yep. Um, and that, what's that white one called again? Uh, it's King, King, King of the Night. King of the Night. Yeah. It's going to flow on too. Those colours will go from the Gania, Gantrel, and Gigantrel. He's yep. going to run them in each model, so it'll be pretty cool. That was a bit of a show favourite, that one. A lot of interest in it. Yep. Yeah, yeah, everyone was around there having a play with that. You yeah, got some new colour trannies too. Yeah. Trans Ams yeah. had that, uh, the shrimp colour, some blue with some red on it. Uh, yeah, you, you rate it, eh? You yeah. rate that colour? Definitely pinching it tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> Take it straight back to Windermere. Harry's, Windermere, Harry's, Harry's not going to let you take it. He told me it. I could have it. Oh, yeah. he says things like that, but there's no way I know the man. <laughs> I'm taking it. I don't know. Oh, it didn't catch me. I thought more, it was more probably a saltwater bait. I probably wouldn't throw it at Windermere. I thought I thought the black one with the red the red lines. Yeah, it'd be good too. Yeah, and yeah. I thought that's definitely a Windermere bait. Um, but you know, who knows colour? Everyone throws black these days, but does colour actually make a difference? You reckon? Yeah. Not sure. Confidence booster. Yeah. But for me, if we're on the lures, for me, yeah. the highlight uh, today was that absolute shrimp from mm. from Zerich. It's yeah. that tail, yeah. the, the flexibility right, and that thing, and because yeah. with the yellow belly comps next year, I reckon that's going to be a. a so you reckon better. the yellows? So it's funny you bring that up. So uh, we've announced, you've announced, well, at this at this after trade show that going to be doing. Flathead comps next year, Bruce? With the Flathead, yep. We're, so. we're hosting uh, seven events next year up and down the coast. We're Flat starting event. at St George's Base and going all the way up to Yamba. Yep. Um, they sort of going to be family orientated type events. So yeah, yep. So it's going to be like a cheaper entry fee. Cheaper entry yep. fee, uh, a lot of different levels, especially yep. for the kids. Yeah, we just uh, want to get all the families involved, eh? Yeah, you probably yeah. have it as Flathead and, and probably throw in a uh, surprise species there each time as well, in different locations, so yeah, yeah, probably good. the biggest tail or yep. something like that. But, Is it going to uh, be a series or one-off like classic? Just one-off events, mate, yeah. so we come into a town and we, yep. we just have a, we just put on a, hopefully put on a good show and just yeah. get lots of kids there and stuff like that. So. Yeah, yep, yeah. so yeah. we're still, still uh, dotting the I's and crossing the T's yep. with the details of that series, uh, lo locations aren't really Locked in, we've got to do a bit of a trip, I think. We've got to uh, talk to you, councils and stuff yeah, like that. And work out exactly how we go about it. It's a bit different a bit different on the coast than what it is out in the bush. Uh, but it's definitely a go. It's definitely going to happen. And we'll keep everyone posted in the next few weeks. Yeah, yeah. yeah what, about the, uh, what about the rods from Jackal? Pretty tidy, pretty tidy rods coming along. Mm, yep. Not really known for bringing in rods, but pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. The, as soon as I held them, the, you just notice how white they are, eh? They're just so awesome. wide. Yeah. Nailed that one. Yeah, and I think, you know, I haven't had them in the water yet or had a lure on the end, but I think the sensitivity on those things is going to be pretty ridiculous. Yeah, definitely. Which is going to be real handy when you're using, I reckon, blades and stuff for the yellow belly in the dams. Yep. Um, when you when you when they're real a real subtle bite, um, you know, most yellow anglers know that they can they can be subtle. Like it can be like fishing for brim on plastic sometimes for them, and you just. If you don't pick up that bite when they touch it, you'll miss them every time. And yeah, often. What about the um, the Aussie crawler from Baxter? They had a real close yeah. look at that. Good. Yep. Good. Yep. The componentry on that is just top notch. Yeah. Such a simple bait, but it's just going to work so well. And it's just built really well, like all yeah. stuff from Glenny. Always kills it. Yeah, well, he's, he's product, Glenn's products are always top notch. He's not going to put any shit out, is he? He's, no, he's no. going to make sure it's good. I oh, know we, we went down to Murray the other day, failed miserably as some of you guys would have seen, but it was a bloody good trip and we actually, uh, Glenn sent us down one of those Aussie crawls to have a play with and 
It was fast water, we were fishing real fast water, they were doing environmental flow when we were down there and it was good to see, you know, Glenn sort of marketed it, marketed it as a, a top water boat that's really going to excel in that fast water because there's a lot of top water lures out there that they just can't handle the fast flow, you just, they just don't get the action on them but that thing goes real well in the fast water which would be good for a lot of, like a lot of the rivers that you fish up up in the system. At the moment we've got not much water but a lot of those systems like the Severn and like the Upper Macquarie, those type of systems that I fish, where we fish a lot of rapids at the top of pools and bring your top water lures through. And, some and they're big baits yeah. too, aren't they? They're big, yeah. big cod. The big DT as well. The dam, big DT. Was it, was it the dam? I don't know what he's called them. Uh, the, yeah, I don't know. Like what, was cool. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll put a, put some footage up with those. But three and a half ounces. We did a bit of a run down with Glenny on that one. So yeah, yeah. Glenn actually bags. mentioned. Yeah. He, Brought up a good point, eh, about the, the spinnerbait, so a lot of people, myself included, you always talk like, oh, what size spinnerbait are you using? And you'd be like, oh, it's an ounce. And you talk about the head, you only talk yeah. about the head of the of the spinnerbait. But if it's an ounce head and you're throwing a big paddle tail plastic on the back of it. Probably two, you've three got, ounces. You've got, you've got a three ounce bait there. So yeah. like, I know with the with the dial of duck things, so that's all on a lot of mine, the 20 centimetre, 20 centimetre model. They're actually 64 grams, so that's almost what's yeah, that? Almost, nice. almost three ounces yep. in plastic just there. So when you've got an ounce head and you put that on, you've got your wire and your blades, it, it adds up. So they're going to be they're going to be a big fish catch, I reckon. What um, talking about your dial stuff? What did impress me was the the rods and reels. Yeah, yeah. That are that coming out now. You can buy a rod for 120, 150 bucks off yep. the shelf. That 10 years ago you'd have to go custom, get a get a custom built. Yep. And there's no excuse to guys whether they're fishing tournaments or just social fishing for 100, 250 bucks yep. combo. You're getting you know top notch gear nowadays. Yep. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. You get a lot of rod for not much money these days. You got titanium guides yep. right through most of those mid range rods in. So that's stuff we only used to see on six, seven hundred dollar rods back yeah. five or six years ago. So. Yeah, Same with the reels, the airs. Yeah, yeah. Hundred just, bucks. Just on those rods. Hundred like, bucks for a reel. Yeah. Yeah. Cheap, 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 you yeah. can get away with, with those that gear in our way, like especially some of the dollar stuff we've had, like the new T D hyper rods. Yep. Yeah, um awesome. like if like I use the hypers for most of my yellow bee fishing I either either run them or the T D zeros. They're a bit um T D zeros they're a bit more upper class, they're in that three hundred dollar mark. But yep. for me, they're my favourite rods for the yellow. Those fish. um, those hyper rods, they've changed the colours on them. They've changed the colours yeah. from that, that avocado green to like a like a matte grey now. It'd be a matte grey. But if yeah. I was just getting into into say I was going to start doing some AYC yellow belly tournaments, you're so much better off to go out and get some like you can get three of those hypers, three different models to do three different things. Yeah. And around. you're going to spend under four hundred dollars. Yeah. It's so much better to do that than spend four hundred dollars on one rod that's going to limit you to one thing. Yeah. Run through those models today. You can have one for your transams. You can have one for blades. You can have one for rolling plastics. You yep. have three lures that you're going to fish mostly in AYC. So they're going to be an edge bite or a tree bite. Yep. You cover all those three options. Yep. Have them all laying on the deck for under five hundred bucks. That's exactly that right. up with a couple of good. Yeah. Mid-range reels and laughing. Yeah. yeah, so if you rock up, you're fishing a comb, you, you, you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on a combo. That can come later if you, you yeah. decide you're enjoying it and stuff like that. So Yeah, but as, as you said, back in the day, you, you kind of had to, you were a bit behind the eight ball yeah. if you weren't spending that cash on a on a quality gear because you just you just didn't have a sensitive blank. But oh. but in these hypers now, like you're fishing sensitive blanks, nice tapers that are going to do the job. So. Yeah. I went from using edge rods, so they're like a, I don't know what they, eight, seven, eight hundred dollar rods. Yeah, yeah. And a range of edge rods. Um, jumped on board with the dial crew this year and using rods now that are a quarter of that price. Yep. Same result, same feel, same action in the lures, and it's a quarter of the price basically. Yeah, it's crazy. It's yeah, I think I think we ride like edge and great rod. Yeah, unreal. And, and you've got Absolutely. your Wilson, your Venoms, and all that yep. sort of stuff, and the beautiful rods, beautiful kit. 
Uh, I think I think what the go is is just to buy, just to spend what you can afford. The yeah, best, that's it. Get the best ride for what the money you can afford. And, and yeah, yeah. In saying all that, like you still you still get what you pay for. Yeah. yeah. But you still, I think these days you're getting a lot more bang for your buck yeah. in those cheaper combos. Yeah. But if if you're on a good salary and you can afford to get those better that better quality gear, it is going to be a little bit better. Yeah. But you're not going to be out of the game if you're using those those hundred dollar combos these days. So hundred dollar combos are real. What about Viva fishing? Pretty big, pretty big presence there. Some cool new products. Good crew of blokes. Yeah, um, they've really stepped it up, yeah. eh? Those boys, those Viva sure. boys. You know, um, Tommy, Jacko, and Adam Townsend. They've sort of come on board with them this year, and they like a lot of people know them. They're, they're cod gurus, like in their areas. I know. Tommy's down in Melbourne and fishes yielding a lot in Mulwala and then you've got Adam and Jacko that fish up in New England. They've brought them on board and they've got Mega Bass has got all these new new lures that they dead said they catch fish, eh? They're going to shake it up for a <laughs> pretty, pretty wild was a looking crew. They were, they were a bit wounded today. Yeah. They, they must have had a bit of a night last night. Oh, I don't think they were as wounded as us. Was it wild crew? Have you seen the AYC? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. some... Just touching on those mega bass lures, so they got um, the Vitalian yep. in the the new 190 size. 190. That's, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a game changer, right? Eh? Probably uh, as a reference, gigantral sort of. Yeah, state. it's gonna yeah. be sort of that it's direct competition with yep. the gigantral. Yep. Something different, you know. Everyone like gigantral is sort of the the premium swim bait for big Murray cod. Yep. This totally might be give them something different to look at. Definitely, totally different action. I was talking to um, boys today, and they were saying. It's a couple of joints, but when you when you're working, if you're doing half turns of your rod tip, you can actually get it to glide as well as swim. Yeah, so you can get it to glide, and that tail will keep moving on the glide. Yeah, and yeah. To the side and keep moving. It's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Especially if you're keeping it in their face, you can keep it right in that strike zone. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. good. Competition selfie though. Definitely. Yeah. A couple of different brands there producing swim baits, the same sort of thing. But yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the cod game's so so big at the moment. The mag rough. Yeah. Thoughts on that? The Mega Bass Magruff in the I think they've got the ten and eight inch there. And if you want one, you see them pop up and grab them because Australia just bought Japan out seven hundred and fifty units and they don't know yeah. where they're gonna get some more so of oh, the Magruff. Jump on that piece yeah. out. I know I know Tommy's been absolutely slaying the cod down and yielding on those so and the barracker. Yeah, Shane yeah, Shane's yeah, been yeah, paying up in the territory. Horse yeah. fish, yeah. monsters. Yeah, changing the game there. Um, they've got a few nice uh, crank baits as well, the, the big M's. Uh, four meter diver and seven and a half. Uh, yep. Good for nice. the river. Yeah, so nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, That's what that's what Jacko's been using a lot, yep. and getting um, getting a lot of his river cod on those. But um, where else? Where Berkeley. What do you yeah. think? Of oh, the Berkeley stand. Berkeley. Yeah. yeah. We uh, jumped over the Berkeley stand today. Went straight to the minnow grubs, as any yellow belly fisherman would, and they're pre-packaged now in the scent, so they come in a container, leak-proof sense in there, your juice, so basically buy that unit, I think they're about 30 bucks, 29.99. Yeah, I think that's what that the unit. Would. You get a good handful of baits in there, and then as you use them, you can just buy your packets and just top up, top up, yeah. yeah. Um, the amount of dollars in the AYC comps that have been won on those little grubs yeah. is unbelievable. Yeah. And also the, the jiggets for the cod guys that have got with the three different yeah. toe points. Three yeah. Points yeah, yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. I know myself, I like to run it. Um, run a treble underneath, so they're going to be great. I know TT does a similar thing, but this is going to be a bit of competition. It looks like a bit heavier gauge hook, which is good when you really want to swing off a big cod and, and get him home. So, yeah, they were nice. I'm looking forward to using those on some of the, some of the ducting shads and whatnot. New kicks reels from Dollar. Yep. yep. Yeah, they've got the... What do they have, though? The, the Arab, is it? Yeah, they've got the Arab, the kicks LT. And uh, Tierra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I remember the Tierras when I was younger. They, they brought it back. They used to have Tierras when I was younger, maybe five or six years ago, I would have been. And um, I used to use them. They were, they were, I think they were a blue colour. They were pretty cool. And they brought them back in there with the LT concept, which is uh, light and tough. Uh, 180-ish, I think they were. Yeah, so the Air's about 100. Yeah. The Sierra's 180. Yeah. Kicks 250. Yeah, yeah. Kicks so. mag sealed. It's got most of the um, features that the 
the Souls got to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're, you're seeing you're seeing all those top features yep. at a bit cheaper price than that you know. And every year, I think, like with all the gear, you, you see it like all that, all that, all the top end, high end stuff. Yeah, all those good features they got. They're just filling it down now. So every year, like all those top features, is coming down into that lower price point stuff, which is good for us. Yeah, bloody good for anglers. Really good. We're not going to complain with that, eh? Yeah. yeah. What else? Um, you know, there was. It's hard to get everyone around everyone yeah, in a we're couple still, of days. We've yeah. still got a heap more to do in the morning. It's um yeah, was, yeah, it's sort of open day for the public tomorrow, so which will be interesting. I think I'm up on the jackal stand making lures with the kids, so mm. yeah. Um, yeah, it'll be good. Should be good. Good to see. Interesting to see how many turn out. I uh, we know we're going to be up in the dialer stand doing a bit of stuff, copper and iron. But for our first time up here, I think it's been been a good time. Loved it. Yeah. I just want to, yeah, like, we went out last night, that Mako party, that party that Mako put on, <laughs> so good. is unbelievable. Yeah. That's, oh, that was... Yeah, they know how to make a good pair of sunnies, and they know how to throw an even better party, I reckon. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, good one, eh? Yeah. Just, the bar was just open. Yeah. 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 No. Got, got to put a lot of names to faces over the, the, the lads. Yeah. 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 People, everyone's been pretty good, so... I don't think we embarrassed yeah. ourselves too much. Uh, well, maybe you, Copper, but... We were walking around like zombies this morning, it was pretty tough. A couple of boys from the bush, up in the big Golden City. Bruce just wants to get photos in front of every big feature we've got here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Broadbeak, it's unreal. Yeah. yeah, we're not missing another one of these. No, it's it's going to be a yearly thing from now on. Mm. Um, but yeah, we might wrap it up there. Yeah. Um, plenty to do. Tomorrow, we're going to get stuck in the beers now. Enjoy it. Um, we're on we're in a pretty good part of the world, eh? I'm getting hungry. Yeah, you're always hungry. <laughs>